Hey guys, Steve Blair. Today we're going to be talking about Battleship Strategy and Ranked for Season 1 here. Got a game in the war spite for you. I picked this one to give me some opportunities to talk about battleships. There's also four or five points in this match where there's a mistake made that should cost whichever team making that mistake the game. So I wanted to pick this one to point that out because I think that's really important. So here on uh, north we got, you can see you got A and C stacked there and then B all the way to the east side of the map. Now in my mind, controlling, I think if you swung through A, captured that, and then pushed through C, killed everything over there and captured C, and then held on. I think that's the winning strategy or mirrored it if you spawn on this ult. Stretching out from A and B, let me put it this way, it looks a lot easier to cover A and C than it does to cover A and B simultaneously. That big landmass in the middle, it makes it very hard and you get two distinct uh, areas of combat, the east side and the west side. So this Mayhan on my team, he goes to capture A, that's fine. He ends up with the highest score, so I'm going to say he makes a mistake that should cost us the game. That's not to discount what he does in this game. He, I don't actually witness what he does um, for the rest of the game, but score-wise, he does well. So, uh, But what what's going on right here? <clears throat> for a battleship, and we got two battleships per side this game, I'm just trying to take a central position where I can cover essentially you know, the majority of the map and also protect myself to some extent. Now, usually what's going on here, they spawn kind of mirrored from us on the salt, and you'll catch a lot of ships kind of sailing rodside to sea, and that's what I'm kind of banking on catching here. But you'll see the Mayhem's kind of coming my way, and this is making me a little nervous. He is launching torps there, so it seems to me like his attention is somewhat still focused over here. But if he leaves... A to, you know, go sail to the other side of the map. In my mind, that's a losing strategy, and that's actually what he ends up trying to do here. Now, you know, what, how you win these games, especially in ranked, where the points tick up very rapidly, you hold two objectives for the majority of the game. Let me, I'm just letting that sink in. That's how you win the game. You hold two objectives, trying to sink all the other ships or whatever else you're trying to do is not the winning strategy. Holding two objectives for the majority of the game is how you're going to win these games. That's how you go up into levels. And you'll see here, this is the exception to that strategy, but it shouldn't have been, and you'll see how close this is. They are going to have a major lead throughout the entirety of the match because we're conceding two-thirds of the objectives, and we don't even have the one where we sent, you know, six-sevenths of our naval resources over to B, and they're being held up by two ships. What my team is doing here, this is not a good strategy at all. This 100% should be a loss. How it doesn't end up being a loss, there's mistakes made on both sides. But I, this is why I chose this game, to emphasize this. This is 100% a loss in my mind right now. I don't know how this enemy team, <laughs> frankly, losses. We'll find out. What I'm doing here is extremely dangerous. I'm kind of forced to uh, present my broadside here. Why? Because I have to flee this destroyer that's on A. And I think it ends up being a Mayhan. So I think they have a Mayhan, a Gaiety, and something else. Basically, for the rest of the match, until these destroyers are dealt with, I have to sail at full speed away from these things. So I was forced to show a, a juicy broadside salvo to both battleships, which could have very easily killed me right there. So, you know, these destroyers, when they get behind your lines like this, the map awareness needs to be there as a destroyer player, as a cruiser player, as a battleship player. All classes of players, you need to understand how to use the map and you need to use it constantly. I cannot defend myself against two destroyers over here, okay? So one of these other destroyers needs to come over here and at least spot them, spot the torps, spot the enemy destroyer, and if I can get some help spotting them, then we can deal with them together. But essentially, I've been sacrificed here, all in the name of holding on to B, which is one-third of the capture points. 
Again, they have two-thirds of the capture points, so they are winning the game. Every second that goes on, their lead increases. Now, you're looking at the score, we might be slightly ahead by now, but we're up two ships, and we're slightly ahead, and that's diminishing very rapidly. And this is 100% because of the strategy is not a winning strategy here, you know, so... I'm not trying to harp on my team, I'm just trying to emphasize this point that playing the objectives is going to win or lose the games about 95% of the time with this thing. If you control the objectives and then forces the enemy team to make mistakes because they have to play recklessly, that's when you can accrue some damage and perhaps, you know, build some sort of route in terms of ship count. But usually, barring just really bad play on one team, it's going to come down to points, um, you know, to a large extent. So what this man was doing, he was just shooting in open water, and I did want to point this out. I, I would call it a mistake on that person's part. It wasn't a game-threatening mistake, necessarily. But I've been seeing this a lot in ranked, and maybe I'm just noticing it because I'm sticking around watching the ends of the matches. A lot of destroyers just kind of sailing around without any smokes available to them, shooting battleships as if this helps their team out at all whatsoever. All it does is make you spotted for the enemy team, and people are going to hopefully be shooting you as a destroyer. Destroyers, especially in these rank modes where the destroyer's values are just so um, important, you cannot be shooting your guns in open water, especially at low value targets like a battleship where you're trying to wither down 60k worth of HP or 40k or whatever, 20k, whatever they have left with your guns. That's what that's your plan? No, spot targets, capture objectives, do anything except for trying to whittle down battleships in open water with your guns. It's just a foolish play. You're committing suicide. You're losing the match. That's another way to throw the game. So please don't do that. And I don't know if I sound overly frustrated or not, but just rewatching this match is just um, it's making me somewhat it's a fraction of the insanity that, that I felt when I was playing this. Anyways, uh, now here the guide is pushing me here. This is a mistake here. He has no reason to be spotting me or being spotted by me. I finally, due to the fact that these guys are just harassing me nonstop, I did switch to HE. I almost very rarely, I very, very rarely ever switched to HE as a battleship. And this is one of those situations where if I'm just convinced that it's going to be a destroyer fight for the next two, three, four minutes. And there's not a good chance of me having to shoot any um, heavily armored ships. Then I'll switch to HE. Here we have the two destroyers here and then the one battleships blocked by the island. So we do switch over to HE. We are able to kill the Guidey. That's a mistake there. That's a game throwing mistake. He killed himself and he had no reason to. He had no reason to be spotted by me. You know, he is obviously much better concealment much better mobility. He controlled the situation. He got too close. He died for it. Same thing with Mayhan here. What are you doing, man? Check the score. Why are you trying to kill the ships? People need to recognize how are we going to win the game here. They're up 150 points. They're gaining the lead by the second in terms of points. We have more ships than them, and we have the only way we can possibly, possibly win this game is to kill the two remaining ships. So, why would he sail at our team? It makes no sense. That's a game-throwing mistake. Ends up costing him his game. All he has to do now, he's disengaged, he's in the smoke, he's coming towards me. You know, this is a, th this is a game-throwing mistake right here. And I miss. That's a game-throwing mistake. All he needs to do is disengage, get the hell out of there, sail straight into that corner. That's a win. We cannot possibly win this game. And you're going to see me start freaking out about the capture points and start pinging them. It's because as soon as I missed that shot, I thought I, I, thought I single-handedly lost the game there. And I, in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, if these two destroyers can maybe get on both of those points, we'll freeze the score and we'll weather that destroyer coming back and trying to torp me and, you know, whoever else, the other battleship. But once he got away like that, I was 100% certain this game was lost, and that was just a bad shot on my part. But I'm going to 
abandon that guy. I can't chase a destroyer. It's not my forte as a battleship to begin with. And I can't I can't catch him. What I can do is potentially get towards this war spite. Now he's sailing to the left in terms of the screen. Uh, to the east in terms of the map. And I'm sailing towards the west. So so it's going to be very hard for me to catch him. All these ships had to do was sail away. The Mayhem comes back in. This is a throw. That's a major mistake. Fubuki is able to gun him down. Good job to the Fubuki. I still think we don't have any chance here. Um, I, I'm pinging these things. I It's futile in my mind. I don't think the destroyers can get there. There's still a lot of time in terms of the scoreboard, but where there's not a lot of time is their score, which is running up eight points every five seconds or whatever it is. And that goes very quickly. So now it's just balls to the wall. Everyone needs to kill this war spite. I don't care. You know, I'm... In my mind, I'm trying to do quick math, like, can these ships sacrifice themselves uh, just to get some damage? And, you know, probably not, <laughs> but um, that's what I was trying to figure out at that time. But, again, this was just so, this is such an uncomfortable game where you're, I hate games where you're up a massive amount in terms of ships and you're on the verge of losing or you do lose the entire time just because people are so sloppy and they don't want to play the objectives very sloppy play it has no place in rank battles if you're if you don't have any interest in winning games just don't play rank battles the entire point of ranked is to win you know there's plenty of other game modes particularly ai if you don't care about winning the game you just like to sail around goofing off ai is perfect <laughs> But anyway, War Spite here, he's kind of driven broadside, and we we're able to catch him up. So, you know, that's that. And maybe I sound a little crankier in that one. That game was just so frustrating to play, but we were able to pull it off, you know, against all odds. I don't think we, frankly, should have won that game. That's going to do it for this one, though. If you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, let me know how rank's going for you guys. Uh, you get any better luck with your teammates than I am? <laughs> Not likely from what I've heard so far from you guys. And we'll see you guys all later. All right, peace.